The most heavy battle is going now in the east of Ukraine. Russians deliberately destroy critical civilian infrastructure in a lot of settlements and cities which they try to occupy, like Bakhmut, uh, Slavyansk, uh, Severodonetsk, Avdeevka, and others. And people in these cities and settlements are living without water, electricity, and medical care. So Ukraine tried to organize the evacuation civilians under Russian shellings from the dangerous zone. You don't live near the front line. Nearly everybody now, now in Ukraine is being severely affected just in their day-to-day -day life and their ability to cook and eat food and just live lives. Yes, uh, it's awful. We have no normal life anymore uh, because uh, Russians decided that the Ukrainian nation has no right to exist. Well, what, what do you think of what is happening in terms of Western support for Ukraine? Um, it, it's got to be sustained, obviously. Is, is that happening? We are very waiting for this new missile system and because we feel a huge pressure of time. Uh, these uh, new weapons can provide Ukraine opportunity to save life of Ukrainian defenders and to stop a further occupation, because further occupation resulted in new deaths of civilian people. We uh, monitor uh, the situation in occupied territories and uh, registered uh, cases of murder, torture, abduction and other kind of offences against civilians. We feel a sense of uh, the frustration that President Zelensky clearly has uh, as the West uh, and other allied countries promised support, but he was still saying yesterday, wasn't he, that it's still not enough, we still need more weapons. Yes, we ask for a particular heavy weapon uh, which can help us uh, to uh, keep uh, Russians on distance. Also, we're still asking for air defense system to protect Ukrainian cities under Russian bombarding. I mean, for, from, from the Western perspective, it's very difficult, isn't it? Because these things do lose a little bit of traction. There was so much focus on Ukraine and it, it, perhaps some of that focus has shifted a, a, a little bit recently. Do you think it's how important is it for us to, to still concentrate on what is absolutely still going on there? Attention uh, of the world provides Ukraine not only like feeling of solidarity, but some contract political decision on the level of different governments, which, uh, they, which have a result uh, to provide uh, assistance to Ukraine, sanctions against Russia and other necessity steps to stop this war. We have to remember that Ukrainians are fighting not only for our freedom, because Russian officials very clearly indicated that Ukraine is only intermediate girls. If he will not be able to stop Putin in Ukraine, he will go further. I mean, we're talking to you uh, live from Washington at the moment. How do you feel um, about the level of American support you're getting? We are grateful for support of any nation. And now I'm here with a concrete purpose. And we faced with the unprecedented numbers of uh, war crimes which committed by Russian troops. Russia uses war crimes as the method of warfare. And we have on the official register uh, three, uh, 13 thousands of criminal prestigions in the Office of General Prosecutors. It's number which couldn't be coped uh, by any effective uh, prosecutor office in the world. And that's why I'm here uh, and to ask him to strengthen Ukrainian ability to deliver justice for thousands and thousands of victims of war crimes. We need to create uh, the International Hybrid Tribunal, which will be able uh, to investigate and bring perpetrators to justice. We need to break this circle of impunity and hold uh, work criminals accountable. A, a lot of people would applaud that idea. It's going to be very difficult to do in practice, though, isn't it? I mean, particularly when it comes to someone like Vladimir Putin. Yes, uh, it's not an easy task, but let's remind ourselves that Russian troops committed war crimes in Chechnya, in Moldova, in Georgia, in Syria, in Mali and other 
uh, countries of Africa. So they committed war crimes everywhere, and they have enjoyed impunity for decades. They even have not been punished when they used chemical weapons against civilians in Syria. So if we'll not be able to bring justice now and stop the circle of impunity, it will result in a new uh, war in other country. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.